All right, guys, welcome to the video. Now, my name is Jason. For those who haven't watched any of my videos in the past, if you're trying to get out of a timeshare, this is likely gonna be one of the most important videos you've ever watched on the topic because I'm gonna share some things that probably you don't know just because a lot of so-called, quote, experts won't share them with you, won't tell you. So if you're trying to get out of your timeshare, watch the entire video because throughout the video, it's only gonna be about 10 minutes, I'm going to explain things that you might not know that can really benefit you. So don't leave because they can really benefit you before you get to the end. And I'm gonna start off, as the title says, by, it says, a selling alternative for your timeshare. That's what the title says. And that's what we're gonna get to, but I'm gonna start off first by talking to you about selling. Okay, so let's go back to when you bought your timeshare. Obviously now you would be watching this if you didn't think that it was wasting your money every year paying maintenance fees. And that actually holds a big key to getting out of your timeshare. So a lot of you were told by your timeshare presenter that, uh, what is the sales pitch? Uh, it's the greatest thing in the world. You're gonna love vacationing, but if you decide you don't want it or you want out, it will be easy to get out of, right? Because everybody wants to buy them. Uh, everybody's, if you sell it, you're gonna recoup your initial investment. People are more than willing, isn't that what they say? People are more than willing to give you the money. That's what the resorts sold you on, those scammy timeshare salesmen, and they're really clever, let's face it. Uh, they say right things that overcome your objections, so you buy. But now, however long you've owned it, again, uh, timeshare started way back in the late 70s. They were big and it was a good investment for the most part because you could travel cheaper. Now they're not so much a good investment. Everybody wants to get out of them, at least the vast majority of owners. And the vast majority of owners are thinking, well, I'll sell. I'm going to try to sell. Maybe you've tried to sell. Most people we talk to have tried to sell. And what does that do? What does that mean? It means they're going to list. So they're either going to pay somebody to list it to try to sell it which is a big mistake. Don't pay to list your timeshare because what's gonna happen is those listing agents are simply gonna go and list your timeshare on a free website such as eBay. eBay is the number one timeshare listing site on the internet according to stats post 2019 here and I suspect that will say the same for a while. But if you're gonna try to sell it, what we tell people is always just go and list it on eBay uh, by yourself. But what you're gonna find if you go there, and I've explained this on a lot of the past videos, if you go there, what you're gonna find are thousands upon thousands of timeshares. Uh, let's face it, everybody wants to get out of their timeshare and people wanna do it uh, for free and hopefully make money. I mean, it's no big surprise. People wanna make money, so they're gonna list it for free and try to recoup some of that investment, those thousands and thousands of dollars. And so they're gonna to go to eBay and they're gonna list it there. And what you're gonna find is that you have a lot of timeshares there actually that owners are trying to give away. I mean, they're trying to give them away for less than $100, even less than a dollar, just for people to get their maintenance fees. And that is made in an environment that's insanely difficult to try to get rid of your timeshare, uh, let alone make any money on it. And again, it's readily available. It's right there so you can see what I'm talking about. And so a lot of the people we talk to will come to us and say, you know, we've been trying to sell our timeshare for one, two, three years and it hasn't sold. Uh, and in the meantime, they have three years of additional maintenance fees and average maintenance fees are a thousand, they have $3,000. And some of these people have even paid a lot of these people, maybe you're one of them, maybe you've even paid listing companies to list it, uh, which you should not have done, but now you know, so you don't have to keep doing that, okay? So that is the selling, that's the general selling procedure based on this idea that your timeshare salespeople told you that it was gonna be easy to get rid of because people wanted it, they would give you money for it, uh, or you could pass it down to your, to your kids or whatever, but let's face it, uh, nobody wants it because they don't want the maintenance fees. Uh, you can travel much cheaper nowadays uh, just by going online and booking a trip through any number of websites. Uh, but also, your family doesn't want it because they don't want to take over the maintenance fees. So you have to find a solution, so to speak, that accomplishes the same thing of selling. I mean, let's think about this for a second. 
Really what all you're trying to do is get your deed, your name off the deed, okay? So you can transfer that to somebody else. That's all that selling is really doing is just pulling your name off the deed and putting it into somebody else's na name so they're stuck with the maintenance fees and you're out of them. All you gotta do is really find a way to do that so to get your name off that deed so that you can stop paying maintenance fees. Now, that sounds simple when I say it like that and a lot of so-called experts, I use quotes because they will call themselves experts, make it sound so simple. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's actually not that simple. Note this, if you're trying to get out of timeshare, this is a very important point. Trying to get out of your timeshare is not easy, at least for the vast majority of people. It's incredibly hard. And I'm sure you've seen videos that tell you that selling would be easy. We just talked about selling, but also that you could just call your timeshare and you know, hey, they'll take it back like nothing. That's not exactly the way it works. All you're seeing when you see videos of people saying, yeah, we called our timeshare resort and you know, they took our timeshare back uh, and it was easy. All you're seeing are the success stories. You're not seeing the vast majority, that the vast majority of owners who contact their timeshare company that timeshare company is not taking back their timeshare because those timeshares have to meet very strict criteria. I mean, very, very strict criteria and they're only taking the best of the best. Because let's face it, there's no benefit for the timeshare company to let you out of your maintenance bill to take on your timeshare, especially if it's not the best possible timeshare they offer because they're never gonna be able to resell it. They'd rather keep you stuck in that thing. Now, they're, everything they say is gonna sound real good to you. Uh, it's gonna sound great, it's gonna sound like it's a good idea, but it's not gonna work out in the long run. And it's really just common sense if you step back and think about it logically. There's no benefit for them to take back your timeshare. Uh, now, they're going to take back some to pacify the general public, and those are the videos you're gonna see uh, that of, of people saying, oh, well, they just took ours right back. It's probably not gonna work out that way for you, okay? So that way of getting your name off the deed uh, is generally not gonna work. And again, you just have to think about it logically. So there's actually a third method, method and this is the alternative uh, method, and this is what we deal with here at Free From Vacation Fees. And that method is a transfer. Basically, all you're doing to get out of the maintenance fees is transferring your name off the deed. That's what you want to do. It's what you're doing with selling. It's what you're going to do if, if you go back to your timeshare company and they take it back from you, which again, those two methods, selling or them taking it back, are highly, highly unlikely. But go that route and try it. Certainly give it a try uh, because it can save you some money. Definitely, and maybe it could even make you money if you sell it. But again, those are really hard. Okay, the third method is what's called a transfer. And again, it's basically doing the same thing only in a different way. And that's what we do here. Uh, you basically deal with a transfer company, okay, who is going to arrange and work at getting your name off of that deed. And there's various methods to do this, uh, but so to speak, that's all you're looking to accomplish. That's it. So no matter what information you've read online about any various method, that is generally what, that, that is precisely, I'll say, in what you're looking to do. You want to get your name off that deed. And the alternative way to do that is by using a transfer company to take your name off of that deed. Now, some things you need to know. Uh, if you contact us, this makes you no money. The solution makes you no money money. I want to stress that. You're not going to make any money. This is not selling. Uh, you're not going to recoup any investment. A lot of people are out there saying, again, it's a scammy industry saying that, oh, you know, you'll make a lot of money. You'll make all this money. Isn't that what they say when you get out? Because people are going to give you this much money for your timeshare. Uh, it's not going to happen. I realize it's very enticing to hear that you're going to get money back or you're going to do this. But don't fall for it. Generally speaking, it's a scam. Just that you don't give up front money to list it to sell it because they don't resell, at least 1% do. You're not going to pay money, okay, to get out to get out a different way when those people are telling you, uh, you know, it's the easiest thing ever. You're going to make money here. You just pay us this and you'll get this money back. It's not going to happen. Uh, and there's a lot of sales pitches used, pitches used. Uh, generally speaking, 
Uh, and that's not, it's just not the way it works, okay? So now, if you're looking to get out of your timeshare, a transfer is what you wanna do. Now, we do that here at freefromvacationfees.com. You can visit the site. Uh, common questions we get. Again, you're not gonna make money. What does it cost? Generally speaking, what you're gonna find, it, it is much, much cheaper than what you're currently paying in maintenance fees. You have average maintenance fees of $1,000 and maybe yours are coming up within the next few months. Generally speaking, what people try to sell when they first are in those initial stages of trying to get out of their timeshare, generally speaking, almost all owners try to sell. And it's a huge mistake for the reason I just said. Because generally speaking, less than 1% resell, which means you have owners, the vast majority of owners we speak with have been trying to sell for a year to two years to three years or more, which means they have three more years of maintenance fees. That's $3,000 at your average of 1,000 maintenance fees. Now, whatever yours are, maybe yours are less, maybe yours are more. Uh, not to mention, you have all the stress involved if there's any special ass assessments involved, or you can, you can even tack on if you paid a listing company. So we talk to people generally who have two to $5,000 or more invested in trying to get out of their timeshare, always falling for the same promise. Uh, you're going to make money. You're gonna make money, just give us X amount and you're gonna make money. And it's always a scam. 99.9% .9 of the time it's a scam, so you don't wanna do that. What you want to do is realize you're likely not going to, and if you're in the position to get out now or you try to sell, just stop digging the hole and go to a guaranteed solution. And that's what we do here at Free From Vacation Fees. All right, we offer you a guaranteed way to get out via a transfer. Now, the next thing I wanna say is, it's not a fast process. A lot of people in this industry, again, it's scammy, say, what, is, what do they say? They say, it's easy to get out of your timeshare, no problem, uh, you'll make money, and it happens fast. You'll be out by tomorrow. That's not the way it works, all right? Getting your name off that deed is an involved process that generally takes a couple of months or more. It can even take up to a year depending on your timeshare company. Some are far harder than others uh, just with the sheer amount of owners wanting to get out, but some are far harder than others because let's face it, some companies are, they're just far tougher to work with uh, than others. Uh, they have no respect for anything and they're gonna try to hold you in the contract as long as they can. So it just takes time, but if you use a reputable company, again, that's what we do here at freefromvacationfees.com. We guarantee, we guarantee that when you use us, you will get out. Meaning that if you contact me today, you're going to be guaranteed to get out of your timeshare. And again, you can see that on our site. It's a money back guarantee. All right, and that's what a lot of people, the vast majority industry won't do as they take your money and they won't tell you that it's not gonna sell if you try to sell. They won't tell you that they're not gonna be able to get you out. They just take your money because they're preying on you believing that you're gonna get money back, it's gonna be fast, it's really easy to get out, and none of those things are true by any stretch of the imagination. They're all false. Trying to get out of your time share is hard. Trying to sell it's next to impossible. A transfer is the best way to do it for almost all owners uh, in all instances. It's almost always. And, <coughs> Excuse me. And that's the method you want to strongly consider. So we talked about a lot in this video. It's been about 15 minutes. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did, click the like button below. You can certainly comment below. But also, you can contact us at the website, www.freefromvacationfees.com. Uh, you'll find another video on that site. And also the contact form, which directly below this video, you will see. And you can contact us. We are not salespeople. Uh, we're not going to pitch you. We're just going to answer the questions you have. All we're doing is answering questions about what we offer, and it's your decision if you'd like to proceed. Uh, so it's all in your court. It's your call. Uh, we are not attorneys. We do not provide legal advice, and we encourage you to do your research.